In his letter to the Philippians, the Apostle Paul tells how Jesus Christ died on the cross and the Father raised him, giving him a name above every name, that every tongue might confess and every knee bow to Jesus as Lord. In Asia today, only a few tongues and knees acknowledge Jesus. In India, traditional religion burdens people with over a million deities. Many get lost in the number of previous and future lifetimes needed to reach perfection, only to discover that nothing exists when they arrive. Religious belief in Japan wants us to build today's faith on the ancestors that built on their ancestors with no hope for the future. Local animistic deities are seen in rocks and trees and storms. And the people simply say, we've always worshiped this way in our culture. Religion, yes. Relationship with God, no. What can we do about the tongues and knees in Asia? Money and medicine are not enough. The deepest need is a model to illustrate the Christian lifestyle. As Asia Area Director for Global Partners, Janet and I touched 12 countries from Pakistan to Mongolia to the Philippines. Missionaries serve only in the Philippines, Cambodia and Mongolia, whereas in the whole of Asia, 1,000 Wesleyan workers lead 53,000 members in over 800 churches. That's barely making a mark, but the believers are real people living in real cultural settings. Our desire is to see transformed lives and powerful churches in Asia. As we travel, we preach in churches, provide books and leadership resources, and conduct seminars with leaders. We assist on a personal and church level in developing ministry strategies, address problem-solving concerns, and counsel short-term and career missionaries, depending on the Holy Spirit to help us. It's more than Paul and I can accomplish. And in our brokenness before the Lord, we are completely dependent on Him to lead us and to provide for every need. In Pakistan, Eric Bahadur, as national superintendent, struggles with religious fanaticism that has embroiled the country. He has managed to hold ministerial training sessions by inviting pastors and teachers to visit his country for short-term seminars and inspiration. In Western India, Dr. Samuel Justin leads 15 organized churches with converts coming to Christ and desiring water baptism to openly testify of their new faith. In the religious and social ferment across India, Christians are making a difference. In Sri Lanka, Cedric and Charlene Rodrigo are planting churches in the capital city of Colombo. Their New Year's Jericho march around target areas introduced enthusiasm and a desire to see God bring miracles to pass. Charlene and her friends envision a new ministry to bring hope and a future for abused women. In Myanmar, Union Biblical Seminary trains pastors and leaders for Wesleyan churches. Jesus Film teams are busy winning new converts. In the northern Chin Hills, several churches a Bible school and a medical clinic function with local support. They demonstrate the practical love of Christ while reaching out and discipling new believers. In Cambodia, June and Mamel Raphael and Joel and Cindy Babcock direct pioneer church planting, national church development, and ministerial training in the Bible Institute. The message of salvation through Jesus Christ brings hope. The Wesleyan Church began in Mongolia in January 2000. Eternal Light Wesleyan Church uses home Bible studies and Jesus Film Ministries to reach people. David and Jenny Bass began missionary work there in 2001. And in April 2002, Pastor Ott Gunbeyer and his wife, Adsuran, were ordained as ministers in the Wesleyan Church. The work in Mongolia evidences promising growth and expansion to other towns and villages. Janet and I reside in the Philippines, where we have seen God working in marvelous ways over the years. Today there are 471 churches, 30,000 members, and 640 pastors and lay leaders. Four Bible colleges and a Master of Arts program trains pastors and workers. The Wesleyan Church in Nepal is growing. A new missionary family will go to Thailand next year, and partnerships are forming to begin ministry in Bangladesh. 
Can we double members and churches by 2005? Yes, with God's blessing. If every believer wins one new believer and each church plants a daughter church, we will reach the goal. With God's blessing, we can make a difference in the lives of the people in Asia to see every tongue confess and every knee bow to Jesus as Lord. That's what missions is all about. We invite you to join us as partners in ministry in one of the most densely populated triangles of the globe. Just think of one day when every tongue and every knee bows to Jesus.